Duke, um, ending on where we began with Geronimo. You supported uh, President Obama, Barack Obama for president, the first African-American president, um, who it was under him that this Geronimo name was given. And, of course, I'm sure it wasn't he himself who gave this name for this operation uh, to kill bin Laden. Uh, he was born in Hawaii, his school, native name. And you talk about Hawaii being so important in uh, native history. Your thoughts about President Obama in light of what this latest controversy? Well, you know, I think a formal apology is due to the Native community, to the family of Geronimo, you know, as requested. Um, I think that a review of the impact of militarization on Indian country, you know, we are trying to get back some of our land that is held by the military, but it's so darn toxic. And, you know, the military is busy making more things toxic, getting more exemptions under federal law um, so that they are above any, any, any environmental laws. Um, you know, be nice to get something back that was taken and to get it back clean and, and to get it, you know, to get it back good, uh, whether Badger, uh, munitions in Wisconsin, Fort Wingate, you know, but we don't want, we don't want toxic land, uh, you know, back returned to our people. Uh, reviewing the, the military psychology of Kit Carson, you know, and, and using that nomenclature, how offensive it is uh, to Native people, and, um, and, and talking about some kind of a justice. You know, in terms of, you know, I, I don't have an answer. It's a tricky one, how you make justice with the military. Um, you know, but, but what I would say is, is that, is that uh, what was done historically was wrong. What was done this week was wrong. And it would be a, a, an opportunity for the Obama administration to do the right thing uh, in, in relation to Indian country, because Indian country is not to be assaulted by the U.S. military. Winona LaDuc, I want to thank you very much for being with us, Native American activist, writer. She lives and works on the White Earth Reservation in northern Minnesota, executive director of the group Honor the Earth. Her new book, Just Out, The Militarization of Indian Country. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report.